In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, as always, at the start of every Mass in the world, we begin by acknowledging our sins and our need for God's healing and forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Haggai. In the second year of King Darius, on the 21st day of the seventh month, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. Tell this to the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, and to the high priest Joshua, son of Jehozadak, and to the remnant of the people. Who is left among you that saw this house in its former glory? And how do you see it now? Does it not seem like nothing in your eyes? But now take courage, Zerubbabel, says the Lord. And take courage, Joshua, high priest, son of Jehozadak. And take courage, all you people of the land, says the Lord, and work. For I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. This is the pact that I made with you when you came out of Egypt. And my spirit continues in your midst. Do not fear. For thus says the Lord of hosts. One moment yet, a little while. And I will shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all the nations, and the treasures of all the nations will come in. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. Mine is the silver, and mine the gold, says the Lord of hosts. Greater will be the future glory of this house than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give you peace, says the Lord of hosts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Do me justice, O God, and fight my fight against a faithless people, from the deceitful and impious man, rescue me. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. For you, O God, are my strength. Why do you keep me so far away? Why must I go about in mourning with the enemy oppressing me? 
Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Send forth your light and your fidelity, they shall lead me on, and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Then will I go in to the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and his disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowd say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others, Elijah, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, The Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Imagine Jesus looking at you right now with so much tenderness in his eyes and gentleness in his voice and asking you this question, perhaps the most important question you are ever asked in your life. Who do you say that I am? What would be your answer? If this question were asked before the pandemic, just like Peter in the gospel, we might, easily also, we might easily also answer the Christ of God, the Messiah. But when your COVID-infected mother is intubated in the hospital fighting for her life, and you feel that you have nowhere else to go to get even an additional peso for her medicines, or when you lost your father and you could not even manage to come home and attend his wake mass, because of health and quarantine protocols, or when you lost your job and livelihood and, when, and you do not know where to get the next meal for your young children, you might find yourself just crying and not finding the right answer to this question. I have a friend who recently lost both her parents to COVID in the same week. She works in the Middle East and she could not come home to attend the funeral of her parents and embraced her devastated younger brother. The only thing she managed to do was to cry bitterly as she watched on her mobile phone the PPE-clad burial ground crew lowering the white caskets of her parents to the ground. How could she ever answer this question of Jesus? when she had more questions to ask of Jesus in her unfathomable and unbearable grief. Why, O oh Lord? This question is not demanding for an intellectual, philosophical, nor even a theological answer. No, it's not... It's, it is the why of a little girl with tears in her eyes looking up her dad. It is a question asked in the context of relationship, a question asked by someone who is truly loved. What she therefore needed was not a long explanation from God. 
what she was really asking for from God was a long, tight, reassuring embrace. Who is God in times of suffering? Dr. Peter Kreef, in his book, Making Sense Out of Suffering, explains that the answer to this question is not just a word, but the word, not an idea, but a person, nor a timeless truth, but once for all catastrophic event, as real as the stories in today's newspapers. Kreef further explains that when we need a surgeon, we don't want just his good advice. We want him coming into the operating room and reaching into our wounds with his bloody hands to heal us. This is indeed true because a person is more real than an idea. An event is more real than truth. God's answer to our question on human suffering is the person of Jesus. God came into the world, pitched his tent among us, and made a permanent home with us, in us. He is God with us, the Emmanuel. He came to die on the cross so that we may no longer feel alone when we suffer. Peter Kreef said that, and I quote, God came. He entered space and time and suffering. He came like a lover. He did the most important thing and he gave the most important gift. Himself. It is a lover's gift. Out of our tears, our waiting, our darkness, our agonized aloneness, out of our weeping and wandering, out of our cry, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? God came all the way right into that cry. End of quote. So similarly, when Jesus asked his disciples, Who do you say that I am? Jesus was not asking them for a Wikipedia answer nor a quick cerebral answer to his question. It was a personal question that needed a personal answer. What he was really asking was about the status of his relationship, his personal relationship with them. So when Jesus asked them, Who do you say that I am? What he was really asking was, Who am I to you? Sino ba talaga ako sa buhay mo? Ano ba talaga tayo? Meron bang tayo? After Peter quickly answered Jesus that he is the Messiah, the Savior, Jesus had to clarify what it means to be a Messiah. He said that the Son of God must suffer greatly, be rejected, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. What Jesus was really telling Peter here is this, Hey Peter, you are right when you say that I am the Messiah, your Savior, and being your Messiah is to suffer for you even if it takes dying on the cross, that you may never feel alone in your suffering. Peter, this is how much I love you. And so my dear friends, if you are suffering right now, if a friend or a loved one is dying, sick of COVID, look at Jesus hanging on the cross. And once again, I invite you, Imagine him asking you this question, Who do you say that I am? What would be your answer then? And yet, even if we find it difficult to answer him, as tears stream down our faces and grief fill our hearts these days, may we take time to listen to his answer to his own question. Shh. I am here, just right here.
It is our faith in Jesus, the Son of God, which unites us members of this community. In his name, let us bring our intentions before the Father. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pope and the bishops may keep the church in the faith of Peter, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our elected officials may respect the right to life of the unborn, the aged, and the helpless, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That consecrated priests and religious may be faithful to their commitment to God and to the people they are called to serve, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be strengthened and persevering in their faith, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have gone ahead of us in this life may enjoy a new life in God's presence, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, especially Mercedes Abad, Grace T., Sedoy Roses, Linda Fabella, Maricel Fabella, Remy John Toledano, Sandy Chanco Agdamag, Nena Go, Jackie Young De Jesus, and Dennis Santo Domingo, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of Ferdinand Jason, Loreto Zacarias, Anne Galang, Mary Tan, Marcelito Pescante, Jen De La Paz, Robin Nono, James Bach, Luz Bach, Rod Banzon, Ricky and Mimai Javier, Jingi and Baby, Teresita Acampado, Rochelle Fabella, and Rocco Pescante, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Butch Samson, Tir Sutan, Felisberto Ros Bombase, Federico Diaz Jr., Fausto Villarus, Esther Santos, Father Roque Ferreros of the Society of Jesus on his 40th day since passing on, Angelito Soledo, Father Salty de la Rama, Jose Alberto Yusai, Juan Antonio Yusai, Teodosia Go, Carmen Go Sang, Napoleon Nang, Tony Alba, and Sim Mendoza, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of grade 9 classes of the Cardinal Cluster, Baina, Barcelona, Berkmans and Berno of the Ateneo Junior High School, Bot Bombase Magsakay, Rio Carla Pineda, Johnny Salvador, Arthur Galang, Doctora Suyu, Doctora Season, and QMMC nurses and staff, and Jerry and Terry Yusai, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions you have sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Kotipunan, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Additional intentions for the healing of Lisa Dumalaog and Clarice Herrera. Also for the repose of the soul of Florante Umlas Alfonso. And for the special intentions of Joanna Misa, Leonora Peña, Gwendolyn Llano, and Yvonne Peralta. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. God of mercy and compassion, through the merits of our Savior, hear the prayers of your church, confessing with Peter our faith in Christ your Son, who lives with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. May the mystery of this water and wine we come to share in the of Christ and humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and ever-living God, through Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember us, your church spread throughout the world, and bring us to the fullness of charity and love, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, as one family, let us now pray the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us now pray for peace. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace, be, peace be with everyone. you. Peace. peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My friends, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us now pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us now pray the Oratio and the Ram. Prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus O Most Holy Heart of Jesus, Fountain of every blessing, I adore you, I love you, and with lively sorrow for my sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make me humble, patient, pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Grant, good Jesus, that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the midst of danger. Comfort me in my afflictions. Give me health of body, assistance in my temporal needs, your blessings on all that I do, and the grace of a holy death. Amen. I'd like to thank everybody for joining our Mass today, uh, especially the students of Ateneo Junior High School. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the blessing of Almighty God be upon you. The blessing of the Father and the Son, and may the Spirit of God, the Spirit of love, be with you all your days. And may the blessing of Almighty God be upon you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying God by your life. Thanks be to God. Nasa krus ni Jesus Ang siyang sa mundo'y tumubos Langit at lupa siya'y papurihan Araw at tala siya'y parangahalan Aking pag-iwang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa tanan Alleluia! At isigaw sa lahat Sumaya, buong bayan Nagsosabay sigaw sa 